Hello everyone, today I'm sharing 10 hair secrets from hairdressers that you need to know. You need to try these, they are so good, they're so different. And I really think a lot of these tips and tricks and even products you've never heard of before, which I am just so excited to share. So some of these ideas are from celebrity hairstylists, I'll be shouting out everybody. Others are just local hairstylists. Some, some things are just from me, not like I made it up, but just from getting my hair done through the years, I've been told a few of these tips and I just use them all the time but I don't think I've ever shared them. Everything that I mentioned, I will have linked down below, but let's get started. Number one is from celebrity hairstylist, Sal Salcedo. And I actually saw an article that was written about this concept. It's very basic, but wow, it really makes a big difference with your hair. So please humor me later this week and just try it. But it's simply washing your hair twice in the same shower session. So again, it sounds kind of basic, but the theory behind it, and it, it does make sense, especially when you try it and you notice the difference, but the theory behind it is you wash your hair, you know, one time in the shower and that gets off all of the gunk and the buildup from the products we use and just, you know, the oils and the grease. And then we stop and, and then we get out and we dry, you know, we go through the motions and our hair, gets kind of dirty pretty quickly. And then we go through the process all over again. Whereas if you wash your hair twice in the same shower session, you get off all of the oils and the gunk and the buildup, you wash it again. And that actually cleans your scalp. That actually reaches your hair follicle. It actually just does a deep cleaning. And afterwards you can go about the rest of your week and your hair feels so much healthier and cleaner. And you can actually go way longer without washing your hair again. The next tip actually comes from two celebrities hairstylist, Nikki Lee and Rihanna Capri. They actually have a very famous salon out in California. It's the 901 salon. A lot of celebrities go to it, but they're also the founders of In Common Beauty, which is a really good hair brand. But I personally, I'm obsessed with the, the, the magic mist. Like this is what I think is like a big secret. More people need to try this. I have teamed up with them for this video, which I'm so thrilled about. I found this, I discovered this sometime last year and I think I shared it with you guys like one time. But to me, when it comes to hair secrets, like this is a big one. They gave me a code. It's Shea for 15% off their entire site. And they have some other hair systems, but to me, this is like, start with this because you will, you'll just love it immediately. At least that's what happened to me. This was sent to me. I think it sat on my dining room table for a long time. And then one of my friends was mentioning how she loved it. And so I was like, I think I have that. Um, so I tried it and wow, instant difference. So it does four different things, which is amazing. It is a leave-in conditioner. It's also a detangler. It's also like a smoothing balm, like a smoothing spray. It really, really helps with frizz. And then finally, it's also a heat protectant. So if you are somebody that likes to use various products like that, not only does that tend to kind of just weigh your hair down because you're using so many things, but it also is just a cluttery mess on your bathroom counter. This takes the place of it all, which is awesome. It also has really good ingredients. Like it's really good, like vitamins for your hair. But what hooked me immediately is, you know, when how I I use it, I get out of the shower, you know, I, I towel dry my hair and I spray this. It's like a really fine mist. It's a great spray. It smells really nice. It's not overpowering, but I spray it all through my hair. And sometimes I let my hair air dry a bit. Other times I just go right into blow drying it. But wow, it instantly makes your hair look better. It really just smooths it out. It gets rid of the frizz. It makes it look so much shinier, which is what I love. So if you think that you can only have shiny hair because of like genetics, like that is not true. This will really make a big difference with your hair. So I am somebody that then likes to curl my hair. I curl my hair quite a bit. So I really like that this does protect it from the heat, but this also allows the curl to kind of take hold better and last longer. So I noticed that that for some bizarre reason I forget to use this, my curls fall flat a lot faster and I do have to go in and touch up the next day. Whereas if I have you know, this in my hair, I wake up in the morning, I can brush it and I still have a good curl. You can also use this on dry hair to freshen it up, to touch it up, to restyle your hair later on in the week, which I'll touch upon that a little bit later on in the video. But again, if you wanna give this a try, I will have it linked down below. My code is Shea and you can get 15% off the entire site. This next trick is kind of just a universal hair 
hairdresser tip. I have been told this multiple times by multiple hairdressers and it's something that we at home just never actually do, but we should try to remember to do it. And it's blow drying our hair. First of all, that's another thing. Blow drying your hair is not as damaging as we all think. It really does make our hair look better because it, you know, we have cuticles in our hair and they're all kind of like going different directions when we wet it. And so when we blow dry our hair, that smooths down the hair shaft. And so it makes our hair look healthier and shinier and just over overall more manageable. But the secret is to always blast your hair with cold air at the very end. That locks in the shine. It locks in those cuticles to stay in place. This next hair secret, I think I'm just gonna take credit for myself. I've been doing this for like the last decade and I do think it makes a big difference when it comes to curling and straightening your hair. So when you're doing that and you're taking sections, first of all, take smaller sections. Everyone takes big chunks because they wanna save time. They think they can cut corners. No, you're not saving any time because in the end, your hairstyle is going to look a lot worse. There'll be pieces that you kind of miss. So you'll have to go in and recurl. Then you'll be kind of recurling things you already did. It just doesn't work out in the end. So take small sections. But when you grab the section, the real secret is to actually brush the section out every time. I know that sounds weird, but again, it comes back to the hair follicles, the hair cuticles. You want everything going in the same direction and it always leads to a much better curl and a much better straightened piece. The next couple tips have to do with increasing volume at the root, which as you can kind of see here, I kind of need. So these tips are great if you're somebody like me that does have longer hair or finer hair or thinner hair and you want some volume up at the top. So the first tip that involves volume is from Rihanna Capri. Um, she again is the, one of the founders from In Common, um, but this is really simple. All you need is a round curling wand and you'll see me do it here, but you actually take the top sections of your hair and just literally like do kind of like a, a curl, like a smoothing curl. You can actually spray this In Common mist first. Again, that kind of like helps it take hold a little bit better, but create like a nice little curl and then clip it and so that it sets and it cools and it dries down in that formation. Maybe just wait like a minute, maybe two minutes, do something else, work on your makeup uh, and then let, let it loose, kind of run your fingers through it with your hair and it creates this instant but lasting volume at the root. Another hair secret for added volume. And this one is so good. This one's so sneaky, so easy. Everyone can do it. But this tip is actually from a friend, a local hairdresser. Her name is Cassie Weiss. I'll link her below. But her tip is to actually take a micro hair crimper, like one of those hair crimpers from the 90s. Some of us may remember them. But actually just crimp your, your section underneath the, the top portion of your hair, like hide it underneath the top section, but crimp it so that it adds instant lift, instant volume to your hair. Again, no one sees any of the crimped pieces, but it's such an easy way to add lift and volume to the roots of your hair. The next hair secret comes from Christian Wood. He is another very famous hairstylist and this has to do with dry shampoo. This is so genius. It actually works so well. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo. Like the longer I can go without washing my hair, the better. So like everyone that uses dry shampoo, you spray it in your hair and it, it's like a powdery consistency and, and that's on purpose. It kind of sucks up the, the residue and the oils in our hair to make it last longer but his secret is to actually then blast your hair with a hair dryer to kind of blast out the dry shampoo, like literally like push out the powder residue. And with that kind of goes the, the oils and the dirt and the residue so that our hair feels so much cleaner. It gives it volume. Um, it doesn't leave that weird powdery, you know, sheen to it. It just makes, it worked way better. So I tried it out and wow, I was impressed. So since we're talking about kind of extending the life of your hair longer than you normally would, I again wanted to mention this Magic Mist Spray as kind of a secret touch-up spray. I love using this on dry hair later on in the week. I think it's just like a great way to kind of refresh your hairstyle and add a boost of shine. The next hair secret has to do with static in your hair. Can you see that? I actually just went downstairs and I brushed my, my hair with one of the kids' combs it's like plastic and it just produces so much static electricity, especially in the winter times when it's just dry out. A lot of us suffer from static in our hair and it's so annoying. Well, the easiest way to instantly fix that is simply a dryer sheet. I hate dryer sheets normally. I think they are so unhealthy for our, our clothes and our laundry and like going on our bodies, but on your hair, it's an instant fix. I mean, you'll just see this immediately. Look at that. It's like 
instant. And you don't even need to like, like, don't put it up like near your scalp or anything. Just do it on your hair and it's an instant fix. The next hair secret involves using a silk pillowcase, which everyone always raves about how good silk pillowcases are for our face. Like there's literally studies proving that it reduces the fine lines and wrinkles on our face just because of the smoothness of it. But people don't talk about how good it is for our hair like as often. It, it, it really is very smoothing to our hair. We wake up with far less tangles, far less knots. It just kind of smooths the hair at night. People with curly hair especially love and benefit from using a silk pillowcase. So those are 10 hair secrets from hairdressers. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, everything that I mentioned in this video, including the In Common Magic Mist Spray, will be linked down below in the description box. Again, don't pay full price for this. Use my code SHEA for 15% off. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.